have you used paintings of the past to maybe solve problems that you've had with paintings that you're doing? Not in a direct way, but I go, um, I go to the National Gallery rather like going to a doctor to, um, for help. And um, it's, it's really to reaffirm my belief in something which, in my hands, has ceased to be plausible oh, at, at the time that I go. So I go um, with a certain urgency. One of the exciting things about um, going to see a, a large and very rich, varied collection, you get um, suddenly um, something comes into focus for you, a picture. I mean, its qualities and its, um, its beauties and its uh, life, which you'd never looked at before except just there it is. And so um, it's to do with a change. Um, change in your head. What, from sort of other branches of the arts, do you do you enjoy? Sculpture very much. I mean, the pleasure I get from looking at sculpture is... Um, I get from nothing else at all. And films or books? Or um, I've rather stopped seeing films, not because I like them. In fact, I like them very much and at one point used to see two a day, but um, it's really to do with um, having, staring at people most of the day and a lot of the night. Um, the concentration on uh, seeing a film is something um, um, I don't really especially want, but... Take off your shawl. You mustn't be frightened that I live with you. I'm not looking at you as a man who looks. A painter. Painters have a different way of looking at things, you. You must imagine that I'm looking at you in the same way as the water with which you wash yourself, or the air you move in, or the light that shines on you. That's easy, you know, all the time, even when you're quite alone. You mustn't even know I'm looking at you. Of the films you've seen, um, have you seen any where an artist has been portrayed? That's it. Um, That's so good, I want that frightened look. I saw Charles Lawton as Rembrandt um, long ago. How was he? Um, I was more conscious of him being Charles Lawton than Rembrandt, but it didn't. The film was still pretty exciting, and um, it didn't make you think about art or anything, but that um, I don't think that probably would have helped the film. Have you? Seen any? Uh, well, I, th I was thinking of the, the, the this the Tony Hancock. Film oh yes, Rebel. yes. I think that um, the comic part was to do with the confusion of his um, uh, his resentment against the the life uh, of being a commuter, a commuter, and um, made him uh, uh, seek 
look to art as a sort of salvation, and I think that uh, already makes it almost impossible <laughs> to start if you see it in that way. Oh, you temptress! Oh, you voluptuous Jezebel! My Aphrodite, what carnal desires did you stir in the breasts of helpless men? If ever a devil was born without a pair of horns, it was you, Jezebel, it was you! Go on, I've got a winner here, mate! And I think one reason why um, people imagine artists have these um, st strange and different and wild lives is because of their work, or a lot of their work. And I think that on seeing their work, they make certain assumptions about their life. But um, you can't generalize about anybody's lives, but um, they don't realize that um, it's um, a life of self-discipline, even though that self-discipline may be a self-indulgence, it's nevertheless um, a discipline or no work could be done.